What's up, everybody? Matt Kajeski here, back again with the Osmo Fantasy Football YouTube channel, bringing you all of the news and notes from training camp ahead of week one. And it's been a busy week with some injuries, with roster cutdowns, but we do have some important news coming from various teams and positions. Most notably in Indianapolis yesterday, Carson Wentz was placed on COVID reserve. Very bad for a player that's missed most of training camp with a foot injury. He will have just six full practices maximum before week one of the regular season. And this is important. Carson Wentz will miss five days in COVID protocols, assuming he tests negative throughout. But based on some deductive reasoning skills, people have gathered that Carson Wentz is unvaccinated. Political views aside, this is important for regular season fantasy football. He will be under more strict protocols throughout the regular season, potentially putting him at risk of missing games. This could change at any point if he does decide to receive the vaccine. But Carson Wentz, this is important information for fantasy, knowing that he could miss games at any point during the regular season. News and notes number two, Trey Lance chipped something in his finger. According to Kyle Shanahan, he will be out for a week. This shouldn't be too much of a big deal for him in the regular season. We still don't know whether Jimmy Garoppolo or Lance will start in the regular season week one. This potentially puts Jimmy Garoppolo in the driver's seat, but again, we just don't know. Positively, it's not a long-term injury for Lance. And last news and note, in Baltimore, of course, we had J.K. Dobbins go down with the season-ending ACL tear. All beat reporters coming out of Baltimore suggesting the team is happy with their current depth chart. Gus Edwards up top. And surprisingly, Tyson Williams, former BYU running back, has jumped Justice Hill on the depth chart. For fantasy purposes, Justice Hill and Tyson Williams are probably both good late-round flyers. And Tyson Williams, you could see his stock creep up as high as the 10th round, maybe even a little higher with Baltimore's propensity to use two backs. Right now, if league mates aren't familiar with Tyson Williams, he's a fantastic option to target late in drafts, an unknown commodity who played really well this preseason and currently sits behind Gus Edwards on the depth chart, potentially carving out a change of pace role for himself. But that will do it for us today. Make sure to check out the channel for all kinds of content leading up to the regular season. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when this and all other content goes live. Of course, I'm Matt Kajeski on Twitter, at Matt underscore Kajeski. We will catch you again next time.